Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mama Bear's Homestead and more. On today's episode of what is Poppy Bear into today, uh, well, you, you guys hopefully watched that video, uh, the road trip video to uh, Center Grove, Ohio, just right outside of Columbus, Ohio. It was about four hours for us. Uh, but we get to watch me install what we went after built fully d17 marty i know guys it's still tore apart not running um i have made contact with a company in minnesota they are custom building the wiring harness for me uh he said he's about 30 some days out until he can get to it and but he said once he gets to it it won't take very long so that was a plus but really this belt pulley ain't gonna be in the way um so let's just go ahead and get it put on that way we know we have it on and it gives me time to work on the old tractor that i love so much so we'll get you guys set up right here well i'll just go ahead and show you the belt pulley right here uh is the belt pulley uh, the flat belt is still in the lean to or in a carport, but I needed this O ring and I got online and Agco still offers this. Um, so I called down to uh, Ag Revolutions and they had it and they sent it right to the door. Um, uh, that was awesome. So I've been waiting on this o-ring right here to put this thing together and um i think i'm going to do this a couple of different ways i ain't gonna put this o-ring on just yet because uh this belt pulley i had have come with a whole pack of shims so i'm gonna put it in with no shims just check the backlash on the gears just to see what it feels like and if we need to um, take it apart to put more shims in that way i ain't taking a chance of cutting that o-ring so yeah this is gonna be hopefully we put it in there the black ash is good take it back off throw the o-ring on and that's good and we can put it together and get it painted but I don't want to take a chance of clipping that, chipping that old ring, cutting it, rolling it, you know, all that other good stuff. So our first task at hand is we got to get this cover off. And if you guys seen, I done a short of taking the cover off and draining the hydraulics or the hydraulic fluid down low enough. About lost that bolt in a bucket of oil. That wouldn't be the first time that's ever happened here. Okay, we got the cover off. Cover. That gasket doesn't look feel great. Or that feels like a gasket. I'm gonna go get me some paper towel. Yeah, I got some right here. So I can just clean this because I don't want to knock anything inside there no more than what I have to. And I should make that three wheel. <clears throat> okay. So that should be engaged that's out so we're going yeah. well that's a tight fit guys snug
yeah definitely have to replace use new bolts because the housing is just as thick as the bolt is long so the existing bolts we took out ain't gonna work and we'll put them in straight across from each other we'll get a three quarter inch wrench and another thing i hadn't thought of yet that i ain't gonna be able to have that toolbox on this side but i've already looked we can put it on the other side and that's one of the biggest biggest things that i don't really like about goose because it don't have a toolbox yet I'm gonna have to make something and I've been thinking of on that one I about got it all designed in my head this is so cool I just think a belt pulley on a d-series is be oh, beautiful right, let's run that other side in No, go for it, Mom. Kind of tricky to get camera angle, and it. I mean, this would be a lot easier if I did, went and got a socket and ratchet. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wrench them all in. All right, I can put you guys up back over here. All right, guys, we're bringing it back out went and got me a dead blow hammer to try to what even it up a little bit there we go there we go <clears throat> but yeah I'll bring you guys over here with me to my handy dandy uh workstation okay so i'd say our next thing we ought to try to do is get this o-ring on because i'm gonna put the o-ring on put all the shims on it and roll with it but a good advice as i can give you is always grease put a little grease around on your o-ring there that'll help hold the oil back and also guys i did not tell you this earlier i don't think his belt pull has ever been used uh because it has still had the uh, like a paper Pork tag on it that I took off. 
Yeah, that looks perfect, guys. Perfect. Um, yeah, we need to get that out. Back that screw out. This hat. There it is. Back this bolt here out. Uh, and of course, it's going to spin now. May have to put it back in there to get it back out. That ain't gonna help us. That ain't gonna be very friendly. Because. Well, we're gonna put. Clock that thing to the top. Alright guys, we got it. We got it hung. Uh, so, got it hung. Got three bolts started. Uh, let me go get the wrench again. And my water. Now let's take this bolt out, get it plumb out of our way, because unfortunately we do need it, but not in that pusher hole. Very thankful they put that pusher hole in there from the factory. That would have been a nightmare to try to... And I'll tell you what we're probably going to do, guys, is these held the old plate on i'll probably double these lock washers up and stick it in the this hole de dead hole just so i can keep dust and stuff out of it hopefully just a little preventative maintenance Big shout out to uh, the guy that I bought this thing from. His name's George. From Ohio George. Uh, super good Alice collector. Uh, he had some neat pieces himself. He had a D15 D or D15 Series 2 with a loader. Nice loader. And uh, he had a power unit that I thought was just awesome uh, he even had some of the Alice electric motors uh, had a 15 horse and I think two sevens that's just stuff you don't see a lot all the time at least not in my area Oh, 
All right, guys, we got all the bolts uh, started, so we're going to start taking them in, but we're going to do this smart. We're going to use these two right here and just walk it in slowly so we don't hurt that O-ring. I know you guys probably like, man, this camera angle ain't very good. But I think you can see what I'm doing. No, you can't because of that oil fill. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Take this one in over here. Let's make sure we can still turn our pulley. cleared now because it's going good oh yeah this is time yep and i am not real sure guys i may not be able to turn this since the tractor is not running no i should be able to put it in neutral and the PTO would be in neutral then. Hopefully. Alright guys, look. We got her installed. I think, I don't know that it recorded me disengaging. Ah! Found me a loose bolt. We gotta get that tightened up. one on the bottom but yeah we'll get this tightened up here real quick and then we'll start painting it i'm probably not gonna get the belt pulley put on it tonight uh i would like to maybe take it to a sandblast cabinet and sandblast it it's just got surface rust and flaky paint all over it guys looky looky we're gonna make it more pretty But yeah, that's our first coat onto the belt pulley on the D-17. I know that wasn't very um, exciting for you guys, so I uh, apologize for that, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and see what it takes to take this toolbox off this tractor, off this frame rail. But I think I can get you guys set up right there to do that. Oh, he 
even better. They're threaded holes, so there ain't a nut on the back. Did not realize that was a threaded hole, guys. That makes me happy. Very, very happy. get the wind impact out for this. Not a fan of that because I didn't want to, but I ain't fighting it. You got the dug and dug it. Yeah. It ain't so mean now. Got the impact after it. guys that was wasn't that bad thinking about guys taking this off and I know this is international weight But if I take this off, guys, I might be able to. No, this is not the wrong grill. This was a uh, off the grill that got rolled over. Uh, but I've not had any luck finding one of these grills. See, th what my problem is, and I'll show you guys. This grill, it has tabs that go up under here. And they just bolted right here in the side in that hole well this grill's got studs here so but i know this grill's off of 58 and i think that's like one or first or second year they made them so what it is is that's when they bolted them here um and then this is off a later grill but uh this grill's in pretty bad shape so i'd love to find another grill and one of these days i will i know i will but i'm gonna take this uh bracket off the front and um clean it up and paint it too i mean why not i ain't got a wiring harness so it ain't like i can get it running so uh we'll we'll work on that and i'm gonna end this video here i'm running out of daylight and video quality for you guys ain't very good without daylight so i want to try to get into making better videos um but that'll be down the road hopefully uh but as always my friends keep on keeping on because we love every single one of you